watching it also is a therapy session in a way. You know, it's like two hours of connecting with those characters. You will, you will connect with one of those characters for sure. Yes. yes. At any point of time, yes. even guys do. Even men yes. who came yes. to watch yeah. the play were like, we all felt the friendship. We were teary eyed not only in the end, but I think I'm a very emotional person per se. But um, I realized that that's incorrect because obviously, as you're growing up, your emotions change as you're growing older. Initially, it was just like a germ. That was in her head. She was imagining something, and she asked us, "Okay, did this happen with you, or what was the thing? What brought you together? How was the relationships and everything?" So that's how it started. Started. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, you don't have to. Sometimes actors put up these walls and say, "We can't, we can't, we can't." Then you can't go ahead. So it becomes very hard, and they were very happy to just. Play. Literally, I'll just play. Yeah, we have so much fun. We have so much fun. I was in the party for 45 days. Yeah. 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 Does it feel like the years whizzed past? The years have whizzed past, and as I said, you know, it's been—it feels like a one month, really. You take an exile from life, and you come back to this, and this is all I feel like doing all the time. So no, it feels great. I hope there are many more years of this to go, actually, to go through. Yeah, sure. Uh, you've always been an actress in great demand because <laughs> because you're so good. Uh, what made you think of uh, starting your own group and getting into all the other? Administrative hassles of. So I, I don't know about actress in great demand, but I love acting. Um, so and I was available. Let's put it that way. And I love my teachers, which is the directors I work with. Uh, so even now they tell me at the drop of a hat I will go and work with them. But the reason I started doing this and opened up my production house is because I wanted to see work that I don't see on stage, and writing that I don't see on stage. So Teapot started as more like an idea of original work. Actually, I thought it would last with only one play, but it went on. <laughs> yeah, so now we are here, fourteen years later. So yeah, that's how I started, and uh, I'm not good at production, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> and I hate administrative work, but you try and you just learn as you go. On. Which uh, would you say are the high points of uh, Teapot? High points of Teapot? I would say having a festival when we had it two years ago. Uh, it was twelve years, and I really enjoyed doing that. I didn't realize that. It may sare actors jude hue with Teapot. It's like over 150 actors, and this is with only 14 productions, 15 productions of mine. We have so many smaller productions as well, but it has been quite a quite a um, a big resume of actors actually, more than anything else. But you didn't stick to the original thing because you have been doing. Uh... I've done original and then I started adapting as well. Actually, Dubeji had gifted me certain plays. He says, "Ye padho, ye padho, ye padho." So when I got six characters in search of an author, actually Sanjay Dadit said, remember Dubeji has given us this play to read. And that lived with me for a while, so I said I should adapt it. So that's how my journey started with adaptations. And I really enjoyed it actually. So sometimes you have enough, you've said in a play and then you read a play and something new comes to you. So I enjoy that. And I think you uh, you did an ambitious uh, production of The Pageant and yes. The Cash Tragedy. Yes. And those two were really big and ambitious. Right? Yes. Um, as far as ambitious, I'm not sure. Just that the script stays with you sometimes. Even after you read it, you're like, should I? And then I'm like, what's that to lose? The way you always say, "Kitna kharaab kar loge." So, abhi kar lete. So, and then it's a tuk If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I work. On, I mean, that's how I I like to live my life. So, if it works for two shows, great. If it doesn't work, shut it down. But somehow, all our shows have carried on till now, which is quite interesting. And audiences seem to show love. So. I enjoy that. I enjoy the fact that they seem to love the work. So you've written this play, Rakhi Rani, and you said something interesting on the stage when uh, at the first show, when you said that you smell Rakhi Rani in your garden, that gave you uh, the idea of writing this play. So yes. Can you talk a little bit about the genesis of Rakhi Rani? Uh, sure. Actually, I went to sleep with uh, an idea that, you know, I have nothing to do for two months. I'm very happy. I was going to be on a holiday, actually, for two months. And suddenly in the night, I got the same memory of the smell of Radhika Rani, which was 
I'd grown up with this tree outside my window, um, outside my house. I stayed on the ground floor. And suddenly the smell came to me out of nowhere. Boom, 5.30 in the morning. And the idea came with it. It was, it was quite a weird kind of dream. And I said, I have to put it down. And I called all these actors. At 6 a.m. I started messaging them. <laughs> and they all thought it was some emergency. I said, no, no, I've got this idea. I have nothing written down, but I have a play. And I don't know how they had that trust. And they said, okay, we are there. We are free, we are free. And that's how this play came, came to, actually. It's a very strange thing, but yeah. So all the, all the actresses you called were available? Or yes. Someone turned me down. Someone <laughs> turned me down. So actually, we were reading for some other play. And I said, we can't do that play. But now that you all are available for these months, why don't we do this play? And I don't know how they trusted me and they just said, all right, we'll do it like you do. Give us one scene in a week, one scene in a day. But that's how it happened. I'll write a scene, give it to them, work on it. Then another five days later, another scene would come up. That's how I wrote the play. It was not at one flow. It took me about three and a half, four weeks to write it down and finish it. With it. I used to block the play as I wrote the play. So it was great. Actually, it was great fun. <laughs> and you had you some very interesting devices in the play, Disha. Like uh, dance, for instance, yes. and the music of that particular period. Yes. And the Amul. Uh, okay, so um, Amul ad. So Rahul Lakuna is a very dear friend of our family, and he's seen me grow up, change my diapers. He's one of those. And I said, Rahul, I've grown up with your ads. Like every time I used to go out, I never read the news, but I would see an Amul ad. And it would tell me what the pulse of the nation was actually. And I was like, I have to put that in my play and ask for special permission. So a very special thank you to him. Really, without him, it really gave me a feel of what I went through when I was growing up. So, and that also came out of nowhere. It was not, <laughs> I was not trying to be clever or anything, but just felt very warm that I could use something which he's done, which Rahul has done, and which I, he's seen me grow up. So, he's seen my journey. And the music and dance that you use? It just comes when I'm actually directing. I don't plan how to do it. Devices come as you're doing the blocking. So I just suddenly asked, can you all do this? They said, yes, we can. I said, okay, let's try it. And they also enjoy it, I think, the process. I, I don't know how it happens, but it just happens. So can we meet the Rathke Rani song? Of course, I'll call all the Chudels to you shortly. <laughs> Chudel! Rathke Rani! I was just talking to Trishla about how the play came about. And uh, how she just called you at 6 in the morning and said she's got an idea. She called and I'm sorry to repeat that. So, uh, can one of you just talk a little bit about the characters you're playing and how how your dynamic worked when you were working with this? I mean, I could see it on stage when, when you were performing, but in the process. Yeah. Um, I think in the beginning we were, uh, we had like a sort of discussion of how uh, we have had our friends, our school friends and shared those kind of relationships. So that was a bringing in kind of a thing with everybody and everybody shared their anecdotes and stories and stuff. And that's how we developed those characters. So she, she could uh, see in us, uh, she could see a Nitya, a Leah, a Jazz, a Jasmine. And then from there on we kind of extensively worked on those characters. So I think initially it was just like a germ that was in her head. She was imagining something and she asked us, okay, did this happen with you or what was the thing? What brought you together? How was the relationships and everything? So that's how it started, started. Yeah. You didn't know each other before. So Padma and I have been staying together for about 10 years now. We are college friends. And uh, I met Sanjeena for the first time. Anchal and I have been working in theatre for yeah. about five years. And uh, I know of Sohini, but all of us are working yeah. together for the first, for the first time. time. And I'm the rookie, so. Her <laughs> <laughs> first time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anchal has been at Tipo since she was 15, right? Yeah. yeah. 15 years old. Yeah. I've worked with Krishna for over 12 years now. Yeah. 12, 13 years. And wow. Sohini is second grade with us. Yeah, yeah. right. Second grade. Second. Oh, very good. So, a little bit about, about the role you're playing. So, uh, I'm playing the role, this character is called Asha Das, and she's a Bimoli girl. Uh, very rich family, as in like uh, culturally very rich. Uh, father is a professor, mother is a professor. Uh, 
two brothers are there so she is a very fun loving girl and uh, she uh, became a singer professional singer eventually in in the character and whatever happened with her life uh, it's so basically it was a journey of asha das uh, for priya i think um, she is very street smart and uh, she deals with sex addiction um and how all the friends sort of comfort her when she finally opens up um about it and uh, she's an actress and uh, how that journey also um pans through uh, in the play and uh, yeah that's um i play the character of jasmine and i think she's the odd one out in the group so Initially, I I found it very interesting that Trishla wrote it in a way that she actually I had to find my way in the group as the character. I really had to like I had, even when I was improvising, I was like, what will Jasmine improvise as? And Trishla is brilliant with writing characters and everything. So she she'd only given us that she's only given me that thing of that you are the odd one out in the group. You're not financially as as stable as these guys are, or financially as rich as these guys are. So even even the character comes a lot from there. It's very different from how I am in real life. So I loved the in, the innocence of Jasmine is Jasmine is a what I think makes her slightly special in my head. That she's this she's not street smart. She doesn't know the ways of the world. She really completely depends on her friends for everything, and they are her support system. And even the background that Jasmine has, that her mother was a bar dancer, but she grew up. Her mother made made sure that she grows up in a environment which is away from the Kamati Pura that her mother saw. So those things were very interesting about Jasmine to play. Uh, <clears throat> I play a character called Riya Shroff. I'm a Parsi Bavi girl, and uh, I am perpetually sick, and which I feel today also. So <laughs> I think I have kind of. absorb those things from my character so as to say um i am also like a tag along in a group like there are say a group of five friends everybody plays different character one is a leader one is a enabler one follows everybody one around so i think i am more the one of uh, like i was pushed around and i follow And I also try to understand what my relationship is, but I give my best to it. So that's, I think, holistically, that's what I think my character is. And an animal lover. And an animal lover. Yeah. So that is what. People please, actually. She people please. Yeah, you're people please. Are you okay? Alright. We won't try. Alright. Yeah. In a nutshell, that's what. Okay, movie. Uh, <laughs> I played the role of this girl called Nitya Malik, and for me, I think uh, she is she's seen a lot of the world, and not forced, but very inspired to go within. And I also, what I think is very interesting is that the way Ma'am works is that she, I don't know about them, because I think all of our characters are so different. But for me, I think. I'm not sure, but we sewed in a lot of like. I think I saw a lot of myself in her. She is a little bit manic. She's very curious, quick moving yet observant. Um, and I think this one word that Nan kept repeating on and on is glue. So she's somewhat the glue of the group, and I'm. I think I'm still discovering who she is with every show and every rehearsal, and I think. Uh, For me, the most interesting part of the conceptualization of this whole thing, of this whole process, was when we, the first day we met, we had you know pieces of paper and a notepad where we just wrote down. She made us do this exercise where okay, it's 1993 to 2020, and now tell me every five years what have you guys been doing? And it's just like anecdotal, and we just wrote little notes about okay, this is who we are, and that was somewhere tied into yeah. the story. And our characters, and maybe that's probably why Jasmine is so different from her, and Nitya is so, uh, I think, similar to me. I don't know. Mm. 
but it was so much of it was on paper from us and then tied into the story, you know, uh, which was in her hair and was so beautiful, beautifully envisioned. So uh, yeah, but for Nitya, I'm still discovering who she is. But she's manic, she's excited, she's observant, <laughs> and she's the glue of the group. <laughs> she's a tracker. <laughs> And this is this the first play. So how did you decide first getting the theatre and second you work with each other? I didn't decide. It's just so happened. I really lucked out. I keep, I keep, I call her my angel because I think she kind of rescued me at this very manic time. And uh, I actually, I used to be an assistant director. And back in the day, in about I think 2015, when I was this crazy little production assistant, just doing anything, anywhere. Uh, I had a brief stint on a production which was actually her directorial. It's called Growing Up, and that was back then. And yeah. I don't know, we met very briefly. And you were a child. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't growing up. I was actually like, growing up. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to nine years That's later, strange. a friend uh, got me back to her, and I was reading for a part. I didn't quite realize how auditions in the theatre world work. And you we were actually reading for another play, which I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about. <laughs> but we were doing that, and then this happened, and that kind of shut down. I don't know. I thought so, we were rehearsing for some other play. Yes, yes we were. Started. And this yeah. happened very organically. And I mean, thank you for choosing me. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for being there. Actors <laughs> 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 with available dates are very difficult. Exactly. <laughs> I was just available. Like, when she's there, that would be me. Save me. So, yeah, that, that's how it happened. So Trishna, some of the experiences are obviously your own in the yes. play. Did you also draw from, from their experiences? Completely, yeah. The reason I made them do this exercise is because I am doing um, a play which has such specific characters and if I don't put a bit of themselves, they will not believe in it. Yeah. So if, I, if they don't believe it, the whole exercise is lost of me making this entire play which is already envisioned in my head, which is just in my head still. So this really helped me give them, um, you know, directly attached emotion to it. That's how I worked on it. That's how I felt it would happen and it actually helped them. I didn't think it would, I thought it helped me more with my writing process, but it actually helped them emotionally attached to it. And that was very important for me because the play has a lot of emotions up and down and um, I think I'm a very emotional person per se, but um, I realized that that's incorrect because obviously as you're growing up, your emotions change as you're growing older. And at that age, I was emotionally like that. So I was trying to find my own emotional background at every age. And they really brought that out. And that's what I'm really thankful. In fact, I'm very thankful that they even lasted. Because I, I, mean, I didn't have scenes to give them after point. I mean, you know, you have no patience with actors. With the director to say, I've seen I have seen I know. So, you know, really, I mean, everyone doesn't have that patience as actors. So yeah, as a group, they were very patient and they were very forthcoming. For me, that's a very big thing. Um, and also really surrendering to things, you know, They're accepting it, trying it out doesn't work, they say it doesn't work. But at least they were very willing to surrender to everything. And that's one big part of acting, just surrendering and trying it out. So for you as, as, a, as a director and as a collaborator, at this yes. event, it's not, not just a play, right? Yeah. Uh, how, how could you ensure that they all got you know, equal importance and equal mileage and equal, you know, I actually number didn't of try for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't try that somebody should be equally important or not. It just happened in fact. Because it was quite organic in that sense. In fact, in my head, the act two of Radhki Rania was less and less, less friends we'd seen. It was first five, then four, then three, and then, you know, I don't want to be No. So I wanted that feeling and then I said, no, that's not how it is with my gang. So why am I trying for something? You know, like the friends I have, we don't just separate out. But the entire idea and the germ, the idea was not only Rath Kirani or friendship, it was the loss of friends. As we grow older, we lose friends a lot. So I thought that itself had to be portrayed. I was like, how do you deal with loss? So this is how I deal with loss, by writing a play and putting it up out there. But different people deal differently. So like, we lost a friend in April, we lost a friend in May, I lost, you know, you lose friends as you grow older. My mom, she had a cover for a white clothes. She's like, yeah, to moti tha sen, you need these white clothes, okay? So I said, what nonsense. But as I grow older, I realize I have a wardrobe of white clothes. There's a reason. So this is emanating from loss and the friendship which you get. And you miss that. <coughs> so I thought this was very important to portray. And I mean, other people understand that even if you're not been through it, that loss is not something you just get over. 
It's something you live with and then let your friends live with you through it. So I hope you're gonna fight with friends. <laughs> so it's all like that. Yeah. That's also sorry, actually an exercise. I, the whole conversation started with, okay, what are your friends like? Yeah. We had a very deep conversation, it was like a deep dive on friendship, yeah. our relationships, oh yeah. <coughs> Therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think watching it also is a therapy session in a way. You know, it's like two hours of connecting with those characters. You will you will connect with one of those characters for sure. Yes. yes. At any point of time. Yes. Even guys did. Even men yes. who came yes. to watch yeah. the play were like, we you know, we felt the friendship, we were teary eyed not only in the end, but so many times. So many times. You know, in the all play. ages and I was teary eyed when they made mistakes. Technical mistakes. How long did this whole process take? Uh, we started oh, April 13th. 13th, 13th of April. 45. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we had a show now. We had <coughs> it's quite fast. I started writing April 13th. Yeah. April 10th, I started writing. Hmm. So I think the whole process did take that long, considering you had. You know, no, yeah, but and, as I said, they were really surrendering. Sometimes I just put up these walls and say we can't, we can't, we can't, then you can't go ahead. So it becomes very hard and they were very happy to just play. Literally or just play. Yeah, we had so much fun. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Thank you so much. A special thank you to Mumbai Theatre Guide. Thank you so much. Thank you.